Hey everyone, second and third graders, here's something I want to see, uh, something that you can try this week. Obviously, if you don't have Legos, don't worry about it. But if you do, give this a shot. So we've separated a couple of different kinds of Legos here. Okay. And let's describe what we're doing. So here, this is going to be one measure of music, one measure of rhythm. Now we're going to be in 4-4 four, four time, which means that there are four beats in this measure. And since we have eight dots on this Lego, we're calling them eighth notes. It's that easy. Each one takes up one eighth of the measure. Okay, so this one takes up one eighth of this Lego piece. This would be an eighth note. When you put two of them together, that's due day. Okay, so let's take a look at a very familiar rhythm. This is a quarter note, and it takes up two eighth notes, which means one quarter of this whole piece. That's why it's called a quarter note. So we have do, do, then eighth notes, do, day, do. So our rhythm is do, do, do they do? That's the Let's Go Buffalo rhythm. Now, there are two eighth notes in a quarter note. So, Jack, how many eighth notes in a quarter note? Oh. Count them. Oh. One. Eight. Oh, wait, no, it's this. How many eighth notes in a quarter note? Two. Two eighth notes in a quarter. It's okay. The hard, the questions get harder. No, I mean the, first, the first, I mean the first time I didn't catch, I, I didn't catch what you said. It's okay. I didn't catch. There what are you two said. eighth notes in a quarter note. Okay, you couldn't possibly fit any more. How many quarter notes in a half note? Ready, Jack? How many quarter notes in a half note? Two. Two. How many, this is a callback, how many eighth notes are in a quarter note? Two. You got it. So here's the question then. How many eighth notes in a half note? Four. Four. You got it. There are four eighth notes in a half note. There are two quarter notes in a half note. And all of those things take up half of a measure. Right? Two quarter notes take up half a measure, four eighth notes take up half a measure, and one half note takes up half a measure. That's why they're named that. Now, how many half notes, Jack, in a whole note? Two. Two. You got it. So, two half notes in a whole note. And guess how much of the measure a whole note takes up? The whole thing. The whole measure. That's why it's called a whole note. So you can put a measure together of four beats or eight eighth notes using two half notes, using four quarter notes if you wanted, using, here, look at that, four quarter notes, using eight eighth notes, and ready? Last question, Jack. If you had to guess, how many sixteenth notes would it take to fill up a whole measure? What's a sixteenth note? It doesn't even matter. Just take a guess. How many sixteenth notes would it take to fill up a whole measure? Sixteen. You got it. What's that? How many sixteenth notes in an eighth note do you think? Two. You got it. Good job. Why don't you try it this week too, second and third graders, if you have Legos at, at home, of course, and send me a picture of your measure. Does it go do, 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 or does your measure go just like our first one? Do, do, do they do? Send me your Lego measures. I can't wait to see them.